Hi there, Teru. It's Dramari here at Huntsville Honda. I just want to take a few minutes to walk you around the 2014 Mazda GS Sky. I'm going to take, I'm going to show you rather any dings, dents, or scratches that I see on the exterior of the vehicle. As well, we'll hop inside and take a look at all the features and amenities there. Right off the bat, I want to remind you that there have been no accidents reported on the vehicle's history, which is really awesome. On the front end here, seeing that things are really, really nice. Your chrome is still nice and shiny. Not seeing any chips or anything on the front bumper here, which is great. Got great tire tread there, Teru. Sitting on your nice Honda rims. As you can see as well, all of your windows are tinted on the vehicle, as well as maintained i want to also let you know that we haven't put this uh, vehicle through our detailing process just yet i just pulled it because i wanted to get you a video so you can have the first look you've got your window and mirror controls here and a bit of storage in the door stepping in seeing little to no wear not a whole lot which is good you've got the manual seat adjusters for your seat and the seats are in great shape. I'm not seeing any rips or stains. So while we're in here, just push to start there. And then I want to show you the odometer reading, showing you 168,594 kilometers. Not bad for a 2014 model at all. Your steering wheel feels really nice in the hand. You can see you've got volume controls. You can skip and search, voice command controls and calling buttons there as well too. And of course, the cruise control settings. In the center here, you can see you have your touchscreen media display. That's all located there. Below that, your climate vents, three-stage heated seats for you and your front passenger, and the rest of your climate controls are here as well as your CD player. You've got a bit of storage room here, your shifter, your uh, other media controls, your volume control and such, as well as the navigation button. Doesn't come equipped with a navigation system, but uh, it does have the compass that's integrated there. So the cup holders are there in the center, and your armrest opens up to some additional storage. And in there, you'll find USB inputs and another 12 volt outlet. For bright sunny days, you've got a sunglass holder right here to keep your sunglasses, and you can see. The controls for the sunroof are there as well. And there's a shade here that you can slide manually forward and back. But let's hop out to Roo and we'll check out the rear seats as well as the trunk and the rest of the body. Again, things aren't uh, in the best uh, shape back here in terms of cleanliness, but we will be getting to this vehicle next. But overall, things are looking great back here. You've got a center armrest and cup holder for the rear passengers. And you can see there's a storage pocket behind the front passenger seat. And stepping in, there isn't a lot of wear coming in, which is great. Things on the rear are looking good as well. We've got Mazda, Mazda 3, Sky Active Technology stated there. And other than a few scratches and bumps there, not seeing any major damage. We can pop the trunk using the key fob and showing you just how spacious the trunk is. You can also lower the seat.
doors back here are in the crank shape as well, Terry. things off. Checking out these doors here, the front passenger doors, they're in great shape as well. And again, almost nowhere stepping in, which is great for a 2014 vehicle. And again, the seats are in really awesome shape. And last but not least, you have additional storage in the glove box, of course. Thank you.